Okay, so we're still continuing from that arithmetic of 14 mass out of the rectangle and then 22 mass out of the uh, circular and for two yards. So we figure that 30, 36 cents we make for the 22 mass. So if we're making only 14, how much um, would it cost to to uh, for the one yard? All right. Um, so 36 for okay. We need paper, right? California on vacation or doing whatever they do, uh, talking to the friends, whatever. I have to figure out this by myself. <laughs> and of course, the tutors will be great, but the tutors help me in during this session. And then math tutor. So, let's see. One yard. With a circular, I make 22 mass. And I figure each mass is 36 cents. Now with a rectangle, I have 14 mass. And I don't know how, how much that would, that would be. So the difference between 14 and 22, okay, what's the difference between 14 and 22? Um, I take that, ah, uh, I take the difference. Okay. And 14. Okay. 2 divided by 14. Oops. It's 1.57. Okay. 1.57. Seven cents a mass. For the rectangle, it would be fifty-seven cents a mass. For the for the circular, it's thirty-six cents, and the difference is one point five seven. Obviously, I don't major in mathematics. I major in oops. Sociology, psychology. Did that help me at all? I'm in the garage. I'm not socializing with people. Psychology. Hmm. I still need help myself. But I did figure out this mathematics all by myself. You see that? I have figured out to do rectangle mass. It will cost me fifty-seven cents per mass that I make. Fourteen mass for two yards. Twenty-two mass for the circular. It'll be thirty-six cents per mass. It would cost me just to make. 
so um, and this is all deprived from two yards plus um, strings which is eight dollars every time eight dollars at a cost of five dollar a yard five dollar two yards so then if I was to like sell it in bulk how much would I charge rectangle I would charge more right it's 57 cents so I would like I mean I don't charge but if you were to do it in mass production you would like quadruple it or something so two dollar just like uh, Old Navy does it so five of them for twelve dollars so two dollars which you make uh, four times the, the profit right because you have to I didn't add in the the, the um, the thread, but when you make four times the profit, the thread can be free, right? And then these are um, 36 cents a piece. So, you know, if you were to make four times the profit, I'm saying that it costs $2, you know, uh, or more than more than four times the profit because they're 36 cents they're not 57 cents then you know you still make a lot but we're talking about in abundance so when you add more let's say you make for a whole bunch then you know you're gonna make a lot of money out of it but if you're talking about COVID COVID contribution to society, your singular cell in particular, then you know, and you're not talking about mass production or business wise, because that's not what I'm majoring. Business, which is not me, make profit, that's not me. So then you're just talking about for you as a part of society, what you do, right? So if you're talking about that, then you buy yourself two yards. And also taste when it comes to preferences. You know, make this size and does it fit a guy? What purpose does it, you know, does it serve, right? But it served me perfectly because <laughs> it's made for me. Okay. Um. Perfect for me. Um, but do I need all that? Sure. You know, when you have ample time and wasting $80 just to spend it leisurely on making a state, well, as a human in society, so making these, spending eight bucks. This whole two yards, you make four in an hour, and you're not going to be doing it every, every on top of the hour. You know, you do a couple of hours a day, take a break, you come back and do some more. You know, so it could be like a self-proclaimed hobby, and you drink as you do. You know, it's kind of fun, right? Just for your own hobby, right? A hobby for you. And it's something you do that um, this piece of leather is kind of cool too. But it's my singular piece of leather from uh, a Louis Vuitton uh, leftover piece of leather. Precious, but it's not enough to make a mountain. All these are materials, so this leather doesn't really flow right. Um, this green and this is nice. I can do the end piece. So math is over. 
or um, obviously I'm not a math tutor, but I did tally up all by myself. Yay! Um, oh, why, why am I so impressed with elementary math and and not like um, de departmental math like electrical engineering, derivative, and, and infinity? Well, if I reached that level, then I would have been such a contribution to society as a whole. And, and I would live in, well, whatever, whatever, that's called greed. But um, I'll be proud of myself for solving this, right? 50 cents, 57 cents for the rectangle, 36 cents. And then you were asking me, what's the difference? You know, 36 cents, 57 cents. You're right. Um, the difference between the rectangle and the circular is the number of masks you can make to sell or to, to think of pricing 57 and 36 cents. But in general, if you were to time it, you know what I'm saying, 22 times 57 mass. Okay, let's do, we're not marking it up, but we're timing, right? Time 22, or time 14. So we're at 7.92. So 57 cents is actually 50, not 57, you shouldn't round it up. It's almost $8, right? Just to check a math, 36 times 22 mass. Okay, we cheated ourselves of eight, eight pennies, right? That's how you check your math. That you have to derive, derive this at the at the um, appropriate number. Except I round it off in the thousand, the ten, the hundred, the thousand. So I took it, bring it over. Who's a genius at math? Come on down, okay? Geniuses, little children who are extremely intelligent and mathematical. Obviously not me, right? But I did find an answer by myself. Um, nothing to be proud of, but it's an accomplishment, right? So now that we have come to mass um, derivative deriving at the answer for the two yards, will you go and cut the fabric for me? Well, not necessarily because we already cut it, right? We already made it, right? So this project, the green one project, will be later. In the meantime, this is it. This is the end of the um, mathematical calculations for the expenditure on fabric and materials if we were to look at it in the mathematical sense, all right? Circular, it's cheaper. Rectangular, I mean, it's pretty evident, right? 14 mass for two yards. Is it really 14? Hmm. Well, that's how many I have of the floral white. We have to like consider that in um, extreme cow uh, tallying. Lo and behold, we still have some more, so I didn't tally it up. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26. And these are a little bigger, too, for two yards. So we have to do a math over. Um, okay. 28. 
six need a cleaner piece of paper. You just tally it up. You discover it's not twenty two. Twenty six for that print, right? This floral tea. Uh, blue print. And then hmm, I have these colors too. Really have to like two, four, five, six, seven. Do an inventory. Seven. A nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Give away gauge one. Twenty. Isn't there another one? I just washed. Huh. Twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Twenty three. For the light green. And then I know with this fabric, I did not do any of the concave one, but then I gave away a lot of these already too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a whole bunch Dan had. I don't know how many he has, and he got a whole bunch. Can we tally it up? So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick with this. Let's just say. Can we add them exactly? Oh, uh, the inventory, because as I make them, also distribute them. Give them out. You know, like, we got pockets for them too, right? Making pockets for them. Put them in a keychain. Like so. See that? Um, now I don't know how to do this. But in general, with this, okay, you can say this for basic math. And then you can also write down what we need. Some of them don't have cords, so we, this one's keychain. These two, we tie tie. I wonder if I should do the ears for these. Like, you know, use these two. In here, just put this. I really don't like this elastic because this elastic is. Very effective for my hand. It kind of hurt. Okay. It's so let's just say that um, let's say we have the the stopper. Leave the stopper in. Okay. 
pull the stopper up. So now we have one side. This one. And this one. Put there. so fray here? Well, because I took it out of the hem of my shorts. It was constricting my legs. So I let it free flow at the hem. Free flow at the hem. And now we push this in. inside, a little stopper, it look like a children mask, rectangle, or for small face people, like my, well, didn't fit it, okay, and then my stopper, pull my hair back, Demonstrate behind here or above. Pull it up. Voila! Just have to have extra elastic so it won't hurt, right? And no, you cannot wear it around your neck. You just wear it around your chin. So that's one. Okay. We have another one. Where do you go? I don't know. So I didn't lie, but I was saying 2,000 is actually one pound for eight bucks. That's more than 2,000. That's a lot. You can make wonderful things during Christmas holiday, like bracelets. But I took the hem out of my um, my shorts. You know, my shorts. I put hem because it was like so. Then. Decided um, don't need it. So now I have this. This piece is kind of fray. And this piece is like an attachment. So that's not going to look pretty on the hair. So, so why don't I just use this? Do not handle knife irresponsibly. Okay. But this thing is sharp when I'm holding like this. It grip me right here. And I'll take away some of the skin. So better be careful. Okay. It's a fun project. 
y'all. You know, have your take 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 time. And if you're not, um, if you're um, can't see because you're getting, you know, having eyes problem due to the aging process of being a human. You know, just take your time, breathe. And walk on your treadmill, relax your muscles, you know what I'm saying? Not in a rush, no due day, not in school, well, if you're in school, you know, shouldn't be working on this, right? Should be working on your schoolwork, but if you're not in school, you're not the student, well, so I broke it, so I like a lawyer to pray. That's merely. Um, and defined indefinite. That's not the right word to use. Time off. And priceless. Um, time just wouldn't be the word to use. Um, what's the word? Great vocabulary. Tell me the word break. Doesn't take time at all. What's a word for that? Um, surprisingly, it's kind of cold here now. All right, so I'll let you refine what I was trying to say. Let me just take this piece out, right? But you know. I like this piece, it's thin though. So I will take this in now. Anyway, shop. Get our shears. Ready. What are we going to do with these two? Don't know. Don't want to let them loose. Just save it for a rainy day. So we weave this in. Leave this in. See, if we make it this size, it's good for my face too. We can make a lot of rectangle, this piece. Okay. And then we do it this size. Okay. See how? And then we take a little yellow beads or whatever beads we got and we weave it in and as we work we also you know kill our our fat we're on the treadmill <laughs> and we're walking at a meditational pace you know um the pace of a walking Buddha. <laughs> and why do we want it even? Because, you know, we, instead of cutting that piece of elastic up, well, because of face, even though they're not exactly the same symmetric, they're symmetrical in some respect, but not but proportionally. Not to be exact perfection. Wow, that hurts. Come on, you. Now, you know, just drinking coffee in the morning, and then oh, my legs are really cold. What am I saying? It's almost lunchtime. Usually eat breakfast. Then just have coffee. Okay. Too tight? Is it too tight? Well, we'll find out on a one little tiny bit. This is scrap that we that I have around the house for the previous project for my for my shorts. Back in 
moment, maybe. I don't want to tie it around the leg so they are not greasy. Now, since they're greasy, their shorts are also cold. Garage are always cold. Why? Well, some people garage maybe hot. Depend on where depends on where it's facing the sun. Right? If it's facing away, it's dark and gloomy. If it's facing the sun, direction of the sun, then it could be hot. Okay, this might be a little tough. Ah, why did they cut it like that? Mm, the end piece. But it might work for a little children's face, right? But this rope is not a okay. So then we'll like, isn't there something around here that would, well, serve some purpose? And the answer to that question is yes. So why am I not walking? So we unleash this with another piece of string around the house. So put this a little stick away. We, we don't want to in a jar. That can be dangerous. We finish our cup of coffee and now we're jittering because oh my goodness, we exercise and we have no savory food in the tummy. We need reserve for this year. It goes back to the original. Do not lose it. Okay. They go where they should be. And do not do what I do, multitasking. One at a time, unless you're capable. Not that you're not capable, but it's just... Now, have a leftover ribbon. <laughs> That's just one. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Sadly not. Not just one of this ribbon. I still need two. Okay. So, we'll just leave this one project unattended until we buy another ribbon or go to the dollar store and get some ribbon. Oh, oh, we have this ribbon. Okay, we'll just need it, leave this down. Okay. Okay. Need a little tiny wooden, smaller hole. Working with fine objects like this, be very, very careful. That's why we have a little sticky right here. So, you can like, ta-da, shake, 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 nothing happens. Okay. So we got ourselves two little beads. Magic, because they're clear, they're called magic. Are they really magic? Stretch magic. 
one meter, huh? Okay. Now that's an interesting question. How many meters is in a yard? Well, with Google this age, you know, you can just Google. Not being a mathematical genius. Google. So how many yards is it in a meter? We got one meter. Really, you know, they they, they, they say so too, should shouldn't they? I mean, they should say something like this. One meter, point zeros. Oh, it's not a meter. Oh, it's five meters. Sixteen feet. Okay. Five. So we get sixteen feet of this patch clear stretch. Oh, my fingers are really shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, look at that. It doesn't, it doesn't go through the little hole. I don't know. Sometime when the speeds are so small, I don't know, the manufacturer slip. Okay, it, it went through. It's just maybe this... Um, Again, it did not go through. Oh, it is. Wow. What do you Sometimes we have to get off the trimmer just to do this. Okay. Fine. It's sort of there. Okay, you're so happy putting that on. Uh, uh, now try the other piece. <laughs> Get off the trimming on this side, and then um, stop it because there will be smooth. Then oh, and you can hear the street in the rain. Wow, it's raining today. I better get off my shorts. Come on. Hey. Who has great eyesight? Whoever got great eyesight, you still need light. Unless you're like, you got night goggles. Just kidding. Night goggles aren't going to help you either. Okay, push. No. That's where time is, consuming a lot of time. Oh, the beat in my last video, I talk about how it just push in. Why? Why are you being stubborn? Stubborn. Yeah, little children, try not to do this. Find something less. Unless you like doing this. Or that you have the touch. Oh, I see the little tiny thing going in. <laughs> okay. And that's where the handy tool, the pliers that I got, lying around the house. And this is great constriction because it's so um, stopped. So stopped. See with this plastic, it tends to pop open. You know, it's not right. So stay away from the fire, please. Do not insert. See her? Come on. Stop. Oh. It's tight enough, right? Let's see. Let's see. Oh. So here's the other one. And here is the other string. Do, 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 do. Okay. And a little 
tiny beads. And then rest in this fun or See? You didn't even need this at all. Put it away. Now, let's try this again. I know it's not going to stay. Okay, don't touch it. It's, it's melting fingers and your skin and you're sensitive. Okay. Okay. See, it it works. Okay. All right. Now let's earlier that demonstration doesn't work. So let's try this now. Okay. Of course you're gonna need to Holy cow! The cow is furry. You tied your knot with the ear. Voila! Okay. What is it? Magic stretch? Whatever you got at home. That works too. Yeah, a knot. Little fray here. Take you away. If you want to be very specific. Take you away. Well, I've got to change my uh, shorts into a long pants because it's raining outside in the summer. Well, the meter guy, the weatherman said it should be raining. Did they say today? I don't know. Sometimes they are not accurate. The thing is, this is great, right? And now, again, this is a chin thing, not a neck thing. So, or a chest thing. But get yourself really tight beads. I don't know how it's going to wash. Let me just use plastic in the dryer. I have to change it out after we get more um, I guess fabric but the magic thing is kind of nice because it um, doesn't hurt the stretchy but doesn't just tie around the thing but there's one there's two there's the black one for now or material Black one is kind of handy. It doesn't two beads after a stopper, right? Go over there. So let's put this down. But with these, see that no pleated, you just like ta-da. Just a piece of rectangle. This fabric is stretchy, so it's hard to sew on the regular machine. Um, you have to have a very expensive machine. But you know, you can pull it through like that, and it works just fine, right? Okay. And that's, and then you can wear around the neck, right? Most of that all day. Just like the color of your, it could act like the shirt has like a neck warmer. <laughs> okay. And those are the ones. And more. You're asking me, why are you making so many? Um, you know, I'm not selling them. I don't have a buyer. Um, 
you talk about a project and a hobby, but you have only one face. That's true. I have one body, but doesn't mean I have one set of clothes. You can have a up and go eat lunch with my brother mate. Napa tofu! Yum. Okay. What ingredients would I, we should do a tutorial on how to make homemade napa. <laughs> tofu, bamboo. And tofu don't need to be soft. You can make, you know, the firm one. Mushrooms. Beef, ground beef, and ground pork. You need both. But the secret ingredients is the chili sauce. Try them all at the Asian market. And that's for now. See you next time.